Hello? Asked the woman, or should I say Barry, in a voice that was kind and gentle and merry. Are you Snoodorella? Though she knew it was her. I am your godmother. Pleased to meet you, I'm sure. My step Snoodle told me, she said with self-pity, that you and your ducks will make me look pretty. Absolutely we will. And the ducks added, <laughs> Climb up in this chair, close your eyes, and sit back. First came the styling. With skill and with ease, those ducks and godmother brought her hair to its knees. <laughs> and then came the facial. With yogurt and cactus, oh, this fashion team had plenty of practice. Next came the makeup, the finest cosmetics. No doubt that these ducks have fine-tuned aesthetics. And finally, wardrobe. The clothes make the girl. Most experts agree in the high fashion world. And when they had finished, most girls know the feeling. Full dramatic effect requires revealing. Is that me? She asked them. I look really different. She said as she wondered where the other girl went. Where was that snoodle with glasses and braces, uncontrollable hair, and cumbersome graces? Time's up! Step Snoodle yelled as she barged in the room. Our carriage is here, about done, I presume? Then she let out a scream, oh! as loud as she could, and declared with a gasp. Oh, she looks pretty good, but of course. Well. Her godmother added, as she packed up her gear, My work only lasts until midnight, my dear. Once the cuckoo strikes twelve, no matter the place, you'll return to your old clothes, hairstyle. Amelia! Take our new guest's bags upstairs. Oh, please, allow me. No, I wouldn't hear of it. Uh, Miss Amelia loves to carry things. Don't do, Amelia. But of course! So down the stairs is much easier. Sometimes. He's gone. It's my fault. What is your fault? You're beautiful. And you're... you're... Blue? Are you the blue fairy? It's pronounced blueberry. What exactly are you doing here? Looking for my dad. We were out at sea. Oh? Why were you out at sea? At that exact moment, Pistachio had a choice to make. He knew that telling the truth was the right thing to do. But if he did, the Blueberry would know that Pistachio was the reason Gelato was lost. So, he lied. Uh, my father is a fisherman. And we were out catching the largest fish you've ever seen. Remember what happened the first time Pistachio lied? Uh, oh! Ah! Is that really why your father was out at sea? Um, yep, that's the whole truth! Uh, what's uh, happening? What am I gonna do? I can't go through like, like this. I'll get used for a coat rack. How do I get my nose back to normal? You must listen to your father, Pistachio. What? How do you know my name? Gelato loves you, and he wants what is best for you. You must learn from his teaching, or you will never be happy. Well, if you know so much about me, why don't you just tell me what I should do next? You know what you should do. Listen to your father. Tell the truth. Well, I must go. A good friend needs my help. Au revoir. Don't give up hope. I have tried my hardest to unspoil that girl, and she keeps acting like a princess. I have held my tongue for far too long, Miss Minchin. Silence! She is not spoiled. She has lost everything. Oh, no. We're trapped. And yet she still loves everyone around her. That is quite enough. Why can't you see that? You are fired, Miss Amelia. You will never work with me again. That? would be my pleasure. La 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 la. 
Oh, sounds like you are getting sick. La 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 No, third pair today. Vanna, what's the matter? Nothing's the matter, just a little nervous. Let's do it again. Uh, okay. After the piano man fixes his glasses. And buy some earplugs. I don't need the piano. I'll just sing it acapulco. It's acapella. Vanna, you are not yourself this morning. What? Who else would I be? I, I mean, it'd be impossible for me to trade places with some other girl. <laughs> okay. Vanna. If the performance is as bad as your rehearsal, this tour will be over. We've both worked too hard to lose everything now. I don't want to lose everything. Vanna, you must decide right here and now to put aside this foolishness and do whatever it takes to be the superstar you were made to be. Whatever it takes? Are you ready to do that? I'm ready. in a house in a tree. Your butlers would show up each morning at nine. They'd open the door to hear Madame Wine. I'm so blue cuckoo, blue cuckoo, blue cuckoo -coo. I'm so blue I don't know what to do. She's so blue, 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 blue She's so blue she don't know what to do. Butlers whose names were Bob and Lily would help you with chores in your house in your tree. Bob would wash dishes for Lily to try. Madam would stack them and then start to cry. I'm so blue cuckoo, blue cuckoo, blue cuckoo. She's so blue she don't know what to do. These dishes are faded, their edges are chipped. This wall is on back, well done. This one is flipped. These spoons are too tiny, these bugs are no good. These knives have gone dull and don't slice like they should. My neighbors have nice things, I've seen them myself. In fact, I keep pictures up here on my shelf. Look at this new flatware of Monsieur Lagoons. And Monsieur Duplan has 12 Franklin mint spoons. And Philip Van Pee went and bought a new sink. Why, he even has a disposal, I think. And look at this crock pot of Madame Lacrosse's and ceramic jars where she keeps all her sauces. Nice sauces. I'm so blue, 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 blue. She's so blue she don't know what to do. Just look at this sofa of Edward and Tammy's and lovely of well where they keep all their jammies. I really can't stand it. I think I might die. Now where was the hanky? I'm going to cry. Too late. <laughs> the course of a typical morning. The things that Madame Blueberry had did not make her happy, so she would gaze at her mantle of pictures and cry for the things she wanted. She was a very blue berry. Her butlers would try to help her, but this did no good. Now, now, Madame Blueberry, you have a lot to be thankful for. 
good friends, a place to live, plenty of food, and you've got us. <laughs> like I said, her butlers tried to cheer the poor berry up, but their efforts were fruitless. But anyway, if this sad berry is getting you down, don't give up hope, because this is the day that Madame Blueberry learns a very important lesson. <laughs> I need tea. Larry, be a dear and bring me some tea. <laughs> Out there. Please stop looking out the window and bring me my tea. Larry? Larry! What do you suppose that is? I don't know. What does it mean? Would you get that, dear? It's big. Madam, there's someone here to see you. Allow us to introduce ourselves. We're neighbors. We moved in down the street. Some say we're the most delightful bunch of fellows you'll ever want to meet. And if you have a moment to spare, kind lady with beauty so... Rare. We'd like to take a minute or two on a topic of interest to you. We represent the Stuff Mart, an enormous land of goodies. Would you mind if we stepped in, please? Well, I... And as associates of the Stuff Mart, it looks like you could use some stuff. Oh, yes. Yes, why, I was just saying that... I pray that you won't take this wrong, my dear, but my initial observation is as follows. The criminal responsible for this decor really should be hanging from the gallows. <laughs> we represent the Stuff Mart, a magic land of retail. Would you care to see what's on sale? Then as a customer of the Stuff Mart, get ready for some real nice stuff. at the Stuff Mart. All you need is lots more stuff. So, if I buy more things, that will make me happy? I don't think that's true. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You really, really ought to. How could I afford that to? Now you've got it. Oh, great. Happy 
Find this weight at the stuff mart. All you need is that more And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Just a moment! Wait! Stop talking! Excuse me, I, I have an announcement. Ahem. Because of the high standards we on this show strive to adhere to, and as a result of the disastrous outcome of the previous Silly Song, management has decided to review compositions from other performers for this segment. Several songs were screened, and we chose one based on the applicant's sense of artistry and all-around propriety. Thank you. So what do you think? I'm saying Silly Songs is cancelled until further notice. Oh, yeah? Well, then how am I supposed to get out of this bear trap? I'm sure you'll figure something out. <laughs> and now it's time for Love Songs with Mr. Lunt, the part of the show where Mr. Lunt comes out and sings a love song. Said to her I'd like a cheeseburger And I might like a milkshake as well She said to him I can't give you either And he said isn't this burger bell She said yes it is but we're closed now But we open tomorrow at 10 He said I am extremely
their way through the stuff mound when something caught Madame Blueberry's eye. Mm -hmm. It was a little girl sitting down to her birthday dinner with her family. But they did not have very much money. Instead of a nice tree house, they had to live on the ground. And all they could afford for her birthday dinner was oatmeal and one small piece of apple pie. Surely they must be very sad to have so little, Madame Duberry thought. But then, the little girl did something that surprised her very much. I thank God for this day, for the sun in the sky, for my mom and my dad, for my piece of apple pie, for our home on the ground, for his love that's all around. That's why I say thanks every day, because a thankful heart is a happy heart. I'm glad for what I have, that's an easy way to start, for the love Cause he listens to my prayers That's why I say thanks every day Madame Blueberry was confused The little girl had so little And yet she was happy Madame needed to think about this for a while Ah, uh, madam Your kingdom awaits Ah, uh, maybe later. Right now, it was time to shop. to be. Why, the spectacle was making her woozy. I am feeling woozy. And rightfully so. Well, madam, shall we shop? This was the most glorious moment that Madam Blueberry had ever known. There was nothing she saw she could not have. Right away, she found flatwares just like Monsieur Lagoons, and then a sparkling new set of Franklin Mint Spoons. Then she spotted a crockpot like Madame Le Crosses, and some ceramic jars to hold our health sauces. Not to mention a sofa like Edward and Tammy's, and an entire collection of terry cloth jammies. It was not long before Madame Blueberry had collected everything she had pictures of. She had already filled up a dozen shopping carts, but she did not stop there. She kept going. Madam, why don't we have these things delivered to your house while you keep shopping? It'll save time. 10% off delivery. Oh, all right. That sounds good. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Oh, look. Air compressors. Then she grabbed a window scraper and a gross of toilet paper. Then a ratchet set and pliers and surround sound amplifiers. Pretty soon, the shopping carts made them feel stretched around the aisles, out the door, and all the way to her house. For me, what do you say we head home? Oh, there are whole aisles we haven't even seen yet. No, 
I'm not leaving until I have everything I need to be happy. Dad, look! It's the train set I saw on TV! The Casey Jr. Deluxe one working lights on real livestock smell! Oh, that's what I really want. Can I get one, Dad? Huh? Please? Oh, wow. That sure is a nice one. But it's an awful lot of money. Yeah, but... I don't think we can afford that right now, Junior. But... Is there anything else you'd like? How about a ball? We could get a ball today. What do you think about that? Okay, a ball would be nice. We could play with it in the park later, right? Sure, Junior. Thank you, Dad, for our day, for our trip to the mall, for the time just with me, for my big red bouncy ball, for the fun that we had. I'm so happy you're my dad. That's why I say thanks every day. Because a thankful heart is a happy heart. I'm glad for what I have. That's an easy way to start. For a God who really cares. And he listens to our prayers. That's why I say thanks every day. That's why we say thanks every day. was even more confused. How could this little boy be so happy after not getting what he really wanted? And why didn't she feel happy, even so she was getting everything she wanted? Ah, madam, I think you're going to enjoy our next aisle. Toaster ovens. It was at this moment that Madame Liberty had a revolutionary thought. I don't need a toaster oven. Well, of course you don't need a toaster oven. I mean, really, who needs any of this stuff? But I think we both know that you want a toaster oven. No, I don't. But at last, I think I know what I do want. Well, what? I want what that little boy with the ball has, and what the little girl with the piece of pie has. What's that? A happy heart. A, a, a what? A happy heart. They both have happy hearts. What aisle are the happy hearts in? I'm afraid we don't have those. Suddenly, it was all becoming clear. Maybe a happy heart does not come from a store. Maybe the kids were right. Maybe a happy heart is a thankful heart. I've been so foolish. For so long, I have had so much. A roof over my head, plenty of food, good friends. But all I wanted was more, more. No more. There's a new Madame Blueberry in town, and she's going to be thankful for what she has.
a close one. <sighs> we'll take it from here, boys. Okay. working butlers and her nice new friends, Madame knew everything was going to be just fine. And most important of all, this once very blueberry was truly thankful that day for everything she had and seemed, though it may have been the late afternoon light, not quite so blue. How did that song go again? Let's see. We thank God for this day, for the sun in the sky, for the friends that we have, for our yummy apple pie, for the love that he shares, cause he listens to our prayers. That's why we say thanks every day, because a thankful heart is a happy heart. We're glad for what we have, that's an easy way to start, for the love to our prayers. That's why we say thanks every day. That's why we say thanks every day. I have my money securely invested in diamonds. Diamonds? How exciting! Where did you come from? I am very spry. 